right here at Nutrition Depot at Sugarland. I got the store in 2019. It's been running very well. Then we started uh, My Subs Club, and then we started a new product. Pump sauce. So we just kind of want to give you a little bit like a like behind the scenes of the shop, uh, where the warehouse is, and kind of how we pack packages, so you guys can see, you know, who's actually back here doing all the work. Um, a lot of guys have messaged us asking, you know, who's who's messaging me back whenever I, you know, reach out to TikTok, Instagram accounts and stuff. And it's it's us. We do everything. And it's mainly him, honestly. It's he a two man team, yeah. pretty much. Let's take you back to uh, the warehouse. Where all the magic happens. This is our soundboard. We do our own stuff right now. We don't have a team packing, replying, you know, Jordan's replying to y'all guys at 12 uh, a.m. at, you know, early in the morning. So it's us putting the hard work for y'all, trying to get, uh, give y'all the best customer service. Yeah, it truly is. Uh, it is what you get. I mean, we've got our soundboard for our podcast. We also double right here and film all the videos for TikTok and Instagram. Um, we edit everything ourselves right now, except for we just brought someone on, this guy behind the camera. We're going to link him in the bio, um, and his, his uh, channel is pretty good. He does some cool vlogs, so we actually saw one of his vlogs. He gave us a shout-out for Pump Sauce. We hit him up, said we really want you guys to uh, help us out and like edit our videos and stuff. So, uh, yeah, we kind of want to give you an idea of this is it. We're storing all the inventory ourselves. We pack the packages, mainly Hosh, um, so if anything wrong... And then I wrong, personally drive, drive it to the post office yep. also. Yep. So if anything goes wrong, contact him. Yeah, and then me. I yell at him, and it's a two-man team. <laughs> yep. That's so, why uh, y'all's packages honestly go out very fast compared to other companies. Yeah. It's because we want to make sure y'all get your packages fast, because I've ordered stuff from online, and it's taken a week and a half, two weeks. Just to even, even ship, ship out. it out. Yeah. So we try in the next day or the day after, unless it's a weekend. Yep. So when we started this in February, yeah. there was a wall right here where you yeah, can, see can see this. You can see the line. Uh, we started with basically uh just a tiny little bit of inventory we wanted to test the idea we did well on TikTok before we ever even had a website so we thought you know let's test out this website see if it does well and we'll just kind of build it slowly we didn't have a ton of cash to put into this this was truly a you know homegrown small business we bought a little bit of stuff we outgrew this space pretty quickly pretty fast so we paid instead of moving into a bigger warehouse and having a bunch of overhead we decided to knock down this wall and go into the nutrition depot take a little of their space in yep. my store yep so uh this gave us a lot more room to put inventory now and so you could see we've got some empty shelves because we haven't completely filled everything um, but we got about four times of the inventory that we had when we first started yeah every month we increase inventory you know a decent amount um, we're pretty much taking all the money we make and dumping it into more inventory and shirts. And we have these tanks that you guys keep asking about. We have these coming soon. Um, and then we invested in pump sauce and started that company. But yeah, this is actually the shipping and packing area right here. So Hosh, you know, he gets the orders. He takes the order. He throws it in a bag or a box, throws in some sample packets. So this order literally came in probably an hour and a half ago. And now we're shipping it out. the business a lot of people start taking cash out because they see cash flow coming in honestly me and jordan didn't take shit bare minimum we were just paying a little bit for um jordan's time they honestly come from the other store but that's it we put every single penny back in for the growth so we can have more uh inventory for y'all more content more time this is how you grow a business man you you have to put everything back mo as much as you can we i've seen too many businesses fail when they see cash flow coming in, they go buy cars, vacations, when they can put it back in the business for growth. And then when they're trying to grow, they don't have the cash flow. Yep. Or supplement brands. Supplement brands, yeah. We see, uh, I think it's, you have someone who's really into fitness and really into supplements and things like that. Decide to, you know, start selling them. And uh, you think that you get some cash in the bank and it's really easy just to go and buy that, you know, Corvette or whatever it was that you wanted. Man, I was, you know, guilty of that in the past when I was younger. And, uh, now that I've learned, you know, how to live on a budget, number one, no matter how much we make with this company, growth is our number one concern. So, you know, even if there's more profit left over one month than the next, we don't pay ourselves any differently. It's called draws in a, in a LLC. So you could take draws from the profits. We don't take that. We want to make sure this company grows and we have a big uh, long-term goal. So everything literally goes back out yep. to, for growth. The quality of the supplements, we, you know, we put not, all the yeah. money into that, obviously. And then, you and know. And shipping and, you know, that stuff. 
But for us, we don't take anything right now. I mean, even when it comes to going to like a company paid lunch, we've literally done that once in six months. Um, and it was because we took our other uh, partner out with us. And we wanted to kind of have a sit down and just kind of discuss where we were and you know how we could grow from that point. Um, but other than that, man, I mean, literally, literally nothing else. Every dollar gets put back in the company. We're about to go train at Kinetics. We're going to do some chest and some shoulders. Yep. Um, it's been a minute, honestly, but with work and the business and all this stuff, I haven't been really training as consistent as I want to. Yeah. So that's... now we're trying to get back into it because our schedule is a little more on a routine. It's kind of the goal with these videos too is, yeah, straight up, like he said, we were really into training. Obviously, it's what we got into supplements. And then we've gotten so busy with doing these clips and TikTok and Instagram that we totally you know, put training on the back burner, to be honest, which you should never do. It should be take care of yourself first and your health. Uh, so we want to kind of document this as we, you know, get back into it and, you know, yeah. uh, put on 50 pounds of lean mass. All natural. All natural. This is natty. <laughs> All right, let's go hit some chest. <laughs> <laughs> Key with this pump sauce is it's glycerol based. It does have citrulline and agmatine sulfate. Uh, it's got some Himalayan salt. So you want to make sure you drink water. The glycerol substantially works light years better when you have a lot of water in your system. Helps it go down a little bit. Make sure you <laughs> I do about a three count to a four count down, and then I'll concentrate the contraction up. The motto I have is full stretch, full growth. It's tattooed on the lower back. <laughs> Y'all youngsters, gym etiquette, man, y'all gotta put your weights back. That's one thing I see a lot, a lot of newbies don't do. Dumbbells, weights, wipe down your equipment. Yeah, you never know who's gonna come up to the machine behind you yeah, and have to take off a bunch of weight, weight before they can even use it. Or how do you feel if you have to take off the weight, right? Yeah. Let me push it. Get that stretch, full stretch, let's go. Drive. Let's go. Perfect. Last step. Last breath. Go. Good. It's all about that control and that full stretch or hold at the bottom. Try to get a little blood in it. You don't want to annihilate it in the first set. Yeah. Hold that the bottom for a little longer. Up, yep. Five. Also, is I make sure I kick up one of the dumbbells first, and then the other one just for safety, so I don't tweak something or tear, do a minor tear on the first lift. I like usually kick up my right to my left, but whatever y'all feel comfortable. And I start from the bottom. Guys who have weak wrists, for sure, yeah. by the uh, spot by the wrist. Yeah. But if you have stabilized, your wrists are strong and you're stabilized, yeah. de definitely get right at the elbow. My opinion. But everybody's parents, you know? Five. Up. Good. Don't touch. I know. 
a bad habit. So when I was telling Jordan at the top, don't touch because a lot of people lose the contraction at the top. And that's why I told him to keep a little bit of a space. Right there. Up, oh, come on. So the way Jordan's doing it with this tempo, it's perfect. And that contraction. It's not about the weight. It's about the intensity of the movement, the tempo of the movement. So I arc my back, keep my chest out. And I try to just engage my chest. Huh? Huh? What? I don't have fucking sit on my fucking chest like you. <laughs> I have to work for these games. <laughs> so I kind of like to go a little lower on the seat, so I'll move the seat on next time. And when we have a midget, that's my partner, I, I really have to work and change the seats. That's why his arms look bigger than they are. They only measure at 13 inches. <laughs> if you're training with a short king, like me, maybe you're six foot five, you need to adjust the seat. You know, change the height. Not everyone's the same. For me, it's all about the pump, you know. So he's the type of guy who goes to the club, comes in right before the club, gets an arm pump, so his shirt's a little tighter. I get my, my sleeves him. Post in the comments if you want to see Jordan do his first show. If you want to see Hosh, <laughs> the Masters. <laughs> I did masters last time, bro. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> the boomer. I did all I did all open end masters. I don't talk, I do. Is there, is there a Punjabi class? <laughs> While he does these reps, me and Hosh have been talking about it'd be great for him to go to India and to do a bodybuilding show in India. Paid for by Hosh, of course. <laughs> Or my stuff's club. <laughs> so if you want Hosh to go to India and do a bodybuilding show, this is totally serious. Leave a comment. So this is one of the OGs and the NPCs from Texas. It's Chris Stone. The owner of Kinetics? Yeah, owner, owner of Kinetics also. One of the owners. One of the owners. A partner here somewhere. Right. Running around somewhere. Yeah, he's, he was, he's working. <laughs> We're doing it straight into the cup. Oh, oh, you can, yeah, you can do, do it. Do a lid, but we just opened it. Where's the lid? Give me that. You just gave me two, so I didn't want to oh, okay. waste the cup. I don't want to care, bro. Yeah. Is anybody else taking a shot with me? I know you already. I'll do another shot. Okay, he'll do it. You get, 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 do you want the lid? It's your, it's your product. You sure, know? let's do that. Here you go. Pour it. Because I'll spill if I pour it like this. You want two or one? I don't know. You're just going to eyeball it, eh? Yeah. You want some too? I'm gonna get in on this party. I'll take it. Uh, I'll take it. Put it from to it's the dome party. Pump sauce. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers to pump sauce. <laughs> oh, oh god. That's I, better than tequila. Yeah. So I need it. That's when you know it's good. Uh, so how was how, the last time you tried it? How'd you like the pump? I, I'm yeah. I'm I'm digging it for yeah. sure. Like I'm. I can definitely tell it's fit like pumping me up. Yeah. So it goes well with whatever your pre-workout of choice is, but I use a couple of different pre-workouts. Uh, and yeah, definitely it's that kind of cramping, yeah, searing kind of painful pump. pump. Yeah. yeah. So when I get that, I know whatever it is I'm taking works. Uh, I start off real light at first, just so I can get the contraction. I keep my arms uh, slightly bent but locked, and I go all the way up. All about that slow tempo. It's not a compound movement, so you want to do concentrate on the contraction. So we may need a step stool for him. We'll figure it out. Yeah, I'm trying to raise money for uh, what is it? <laughs> length, length. That length lengthening surgery. Lengthening surgery. <laughs> <laughs> I like to hold up the top for a second. About three seconds, actually. That's what you call three seconds. One, two. Yeah, three. that's a little different, huh? <laughs> Dealer set, I won't push hard. I just see if the weight's good for me for, the, for a real hard set. I'm more of about the intensity of like one or two sets and then 
finish that exercise. So this one will be a feel I won't probably do that many to see if I need to go up or stay at the same weight. So for me right now, this is kind of light. I don't know if the pump toss is working, giving me the little extra endurance and pump where I can lift a little heavier. So I'll go up. I won't waste my energy on this set. I won't even waste my time. <laughs> it's already heavy. This is what happens when there's real strength right here, and this is facade of muscle. We call show muscle. <laughs> The exact tempo you should be doing. Concentrating on the contraction. Start, my chest is out a little bit. I, I, I rotate my shoulders a little bit to the back so I can isolate. And then I'll go up, slow, concentrate. You can love it but don't Oh shit. Fuck. Try to push him past this failure point. So if you have a spotter, this is a good way to do it. Just make sure that he's doing, you know, he's, the tempo's right. You don't need to be right behind him unless you want to be at this time. <laughs> All right, now you see he's kind of like getting fatigued. Yep. So you cut spot right by his uh, uh, forearms, get near his elbows, a little higher. Let him control it down himself. Up. Oh. Come on. It's time to work. Five more. Five. Up. Oh. Four. Drive. Three, control it. Two, one more. Negative. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Yep. So that's failing. So I could get it, uh, get a little lower the depth because I, I believe in that full stress, full growth. You have to put your hands where you're kind of comfortable for your, your shoulders. So you'll lift. For me, it's a little wider. And I'll start here. And I don't go all the way up because that turns it for me, my triceps fire too much. So I go about right here and then I'll control it down. Explode up. Control down slowly. Yep. Oh. 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 See how he's not locking at the top? Because at the top, it's going to be all tricep elbows flexion. So you see how he's uh, pushing through this? It looks easy. Basically, he didn't die at the last exercise. Come on. Breathe. Get oxygen, bro. You got it. Try to get that full stretch at the bottom. Come back up. Hold it at the bottom. Squeeze and contract at the top. You're going to put the weights up, of course. And fucking leave your weights out. Right. That's it. Here we go. It's our uh, first vlog. We showed you a couple of workouts on our chest and our shoulders. Also, we're gonna you know, show you about how our warehouse works, our packing, uh, how everything in the back end works on that end. Yeah, we, uh, we've wanted to do this for a while, just kind of waiting on the right time to do it. We want to do a little bit more like long form content, some vlogs, some behind the scenes stuff, uh, maybe some diet tri uh, tips. Yeah, diet tips, supplement tips, stuff like that. Um, Maybe next week we're gonna try to go to Alpha Land, uh, pass out some pump saw samples, hit a little lift at Alpha Land. 
Um, if there's anything in the video that we're maybe not doing correctly or you guys think we should add into the video for next time, comment below. Let us know if you like it, hate it, et cetera, and uh, subscribe. And also, we're going to be doing our podcast back again. So we'll be interviewing people and talking about um, the supplement business, just regular business, fitness, all in general. Yes, and if you want to try the pump sauce, mysubsclub.com is the only online store to buy pump sauce. You can use a coupon code, either TikTok or Instagram for 10% off. We ship for free. I would highly recommend you try it if you're trying to have biceps like this guy. Um, not him, but me. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll see you next week.